In this video, we're going to be looking at the checkbox control. Uh, the checkbox controls uh, are used to display uh, checkboxes uh, on the website. I'm sure you must have come across uh, checkboxes. Uh, checkboxes uh, allow user to make multiple choices among many other choices available. Uh, checkbox controls support many properties uh, which include uh, the auto post back which we have talked about in previous video and uh, the checked uh, property uh, enable the checkbox to be checked by default or not be checked by default and the text property and many other ones uh, which we're going to be looking at uh, checkbox control uh, like text box uh, also supports the focus method which we talked about in the previous video uh, which allow you to set the initial focus of the checkbox the most important event is the checked uh, checked change event so this event is raised on the server whenever the checkbox control is checked or unchecked uh, the auto post back property can be used to work with check changed events so that events are raised automatically whenever the checkbox is checked or unchecked so what this is mean is because uh, this event will be fired whenever you uh, check a checkbox the event will be raised on the server so uh, for example if you check uh, a, a checkbox and you click a button then the event to be raised but uh, if you want it to happen automatically every time you check or, or uncheck a checkbox <laughs> too many check 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 then now uh, you can use the auto post back uh, property so let's go to the uh, what I've done is I've created the page in advance and uh, like I explained to you in one of the previous video the way to add a page to your uh, website is to right click on the project right click on the project and select add new item and you choose the web form and you name the web form and uh, select or unselect this one we haven't talked about the master page but this one we particularly talk about it so anyway so um I've so we're talking about the check post control so let's bring out the page and uh, let's go to the design view so as you can see I've uh, added a check box control here and I've set the text property to select to agree our terms so as you can see let me expand this so you can see what I've typed so the I've um, set the text property to select to agree to our terms and uh, okay we can set the ID uh, auto post back which we're going to set uh, as in this uh, video and uh, checked so as you can see if I set this to true that means it will be checked by default so as you can see now it's now checked so that means whenever your website is live it will be checked for you uh, for example if this is a real website now you can s s check this checkbox uh, by default so that the user doesn't have to bother to check it so uh, but I'm going to put that to false checked to false and uh, what else can we set here we can set the enable view state which, which, which we talk about and you can align the text you know on the label to left all right so it's just going to align to either the left of the uh, checkbox or the right so the normal way to do it is to align it to right anyway so um so that is that now so what will happen is every time we click this button we want to see we want to uh, see if the checkbox was checked so if we uh, go to the button click event as you see here this is the button click event button one dot click so what we want to do is want to say label one which is the label dot text equals to checkbox one dot checks so our checkbox which is named checkbox one we want to see if it's checked so if it's checked the value is going to be so the value is going to be true so we want to see if the checkbox one is checked and if it's checked we convert that to a string and we put the string on our label so if it's checked it's going to return true if it's not checked it's going to return false so let's run the website and uh, so if I click on the button now uh, it return false it return faster so if I click on uh, the button which which I, if I check it 
and I click on the button we're gonna get true so but this is not useful true and false so what we can do is we can actually use those value true and false to write some statements if you know C sharp so what I've done here I've said uh, let me remove the comment because I've commented out so it doesn't interfere with our program so what we want to do now is to um, get the value of whatever the value of this we're going to let me show you what I mean so if we instead of assigning the value of true or false to label if we say string result so what we want to do is we want to assign remember if the checkbox is check is going to return true or false so we want to convert that true or false to string so now we assign it to result so so the result now we want to check if the result equals to true so that means if the value of this which we are uh, using to uh, to display on the label so if the result is true then we want to say label one dot text yes you agreed but otherwise we want it to be you did not agree so I could have easily said here as well if result it equals to false um, label dot text equals to you did not agree so if you need to watch the C sharp video to really understand um, C sharp so but uh, they're very easy to understand you don't have to you can just watch my some of these videos as well and you understand so if I select this now and I click on the button as you can see it said yes you agreed but if I remove it and then click on the button say you did not agree so this is the way you use the uh, checkbox uh, control so uh, now that we have uh, done that another thing we can do is we can actually use the check change event so that we, we will not require a button so in order to do that if we we can copy out we can cut we can cut out this uh, statement that we've written inside the button so uh, I'm going to delete this which we don't need and uh, I'm going to delete so what I'm going to do, don't worry, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. So uh, let me delete the button one click event. So I need to clean up my code. So if I go to the design view, uh, to the results view at the bottom, uh, on click. So, okay. I need to actually delete the button okay delete so okay so now we do not have a button anymore because we want to set the auto post back to be true remember every time you set auto post back of an um, that means you don't need to click a button as long as soon as you check the uh, checkbox the form we posted back to the server automatically so let's configure the auto post back to be true and uh, we have our label so let's if we run our website now so if I select this it will be automatically posted to the server and say yes you agree and if I unselect it it will say you did not agree so by selecting or in selecting it will be automatically posted back to the server so all I did was just to remove the button uh, let me stop the website so all I did was just to remove the button and uh, at the top here I use the checkbox one dot check change event handler to actually process the code that we were processing whenever we click the button and if you don't know how to um, uh, get this event handler that means you have not been watching my previous video so you have to go to you have to select the object here inside the source code you have to select checkbox one and you want to select the method that you want to and so check change and it's going to hand and uh, add it here for you so this is what this is how you use the um, checkbox uh, control and in the next video we're going to be looking at the radio button control which is very similar to the checkbox thank you